Hi everyone, we will be using ChatGPT today to create WordPress codes and plugins for us and we will be customizing our checkout page by labels, by names or by adding custom shipping fee, everything within ChatGPT without us writing any single line of code. Let's tune in. To start, let's open this website called openai.com. Go all the way down, click chat GPT. From here, click this button, try chat GPT. It will open in a new tab. If you are already registered, simply log in. If not, you can sign up using your Google Mail. So I will just hit login. So here is the main interface for ChatGPT. Here we can see some examples to start with, some capabilities and some limitations by this artificial intelligence. But since we are talking about WordPress, so let's jump right into our video. In my case, this is my checkout page. This website is based on WooCommerce. What I want is to change this first name label to something else and I do not want to write any code so I will just ask ChatGPT to write me some code to change the first name on the WooCommerce checkout page click generate it will take a while to do the magic so just be patient great so it's created the code for us and it's also instructing us on how we can use this one way is directly editing the theme file functions.php or in a custom plugin I'll show you both methods. One is go to appearance theme file editor. We can locate the functions PHP file here, but since it's very dangerous and even WordPress does not recommend changing directly our theme file. So we will go to the best practice, which is by, which is by getting a plugin called snippets. Add new. code snippet search it and we will get this plugin since I already installed it so I will go here and I will get something like this snippets or piece of codes so let's add new one and before that I can show you my checkout page says my first name uh, is, is the label for this and we generated a code to change this into something else so I will name it anything I want it does not matter and here I will copy this code paste it and custom first name I can replace it with what I want for now it is first name I want this to be maybe my real name. Save changes and activate. Go my to my checkout page and refresh. And as you can see, it changed the label to my real name. Pretty cool, huh? One more thing I want to tell you that why we use snippets plugin is because if there is some error in the code, it will not break the website. Instead, it will not activate this particular code. So benefit of using this is if we change the functions PHP file and if there is an error in code, it will break our website and we will not be able to load it at all unless you go to the file manager and do that some manual work we do not want to face that issue so let's just use this snippets plugin okay now i'm happy with the progress of chat gpt let's try another thing 
since we run a query and chat gpt is very efficient and it remembers the conversation we are going into so our first query was write some code now i want this to also change the country label it will modify the code so just be patient so my next query is generated and chat gpt is giving me another code and if you look into this it gave me actually this new line other than that everything is same the custom name so now the label is billing country so i will just copy this part of the code and go back to my previous snippet or my code here i will hit enter and paste the new one and call it maybe custom country to my country if you see for now it says country or region and i want this to be changed into my country i will simply replace it and save changes And if I refresh my checkout page, amazing. So I changed two labels. One is my real name and one is my country using chat GPT. The labels work pretty well in this case, but let's try more complexity of chat GPT and ask it to write a complete plugin for us. In order to do that, let's say we type a query call write me some wordpress code that adds a ten dollar shipping fee to the cod or cash on delivery payment method for now only cash on delivery is available on my website right now and i want people to pay extra shipping when they select this so i wrote my query here and i'll hit enter and let chat gpt generate it Okay, this one created i will copy this code go to my queries and write a new snippet i'll call it extra shipping fee or you can call it whatever you want just for your reference and i will simply save changes and activate now if i go to my checkout page and refresh it I can find this shipping fee ten dollars right because people have selected check cash on delivery and I do not have any other payment gateway so this one is added now now what if I want this to add the fee only in the shipping address uh, if it's outside California, so I will hit the query and remember chat GPT uh, Is having a memory so it knows what we are talking previously. So I'm asking it to further Modify the code by adding the fee only in the shipping address That is outside California A new code is generated with $10 shipping only if the state is outside California. So I'll copy this code, go back to my snippets, select all, delete it, paste the new code, save changes, go back to my checkout, refresh it. Now $10 shipping is gone because I am in California state. So if, if we select any other state or maybe switch to another country, you can find the shipping is here. Perfect. So chat GBT is fixing things for us and we do not have to write any, any line of code. Now let's ask 
this chat gpt intelligence a very complicated query can you turn this into a plugin hit enter while it's writing code for us i'll go back and let's delete this snippet because we are using now the plugin method so i'll simply disable this by clicking here or i can delete this so the code is written what we do we copy this code here and in our operating system we create a new folder and call it chip fee or anything you want it inside this create a new document let's open this paste the code given by chat gpt plugin name whatever we want to call it description is there and version anything you want i want it maybe 3.0 author name you can write your name i will write my channel name here and save it as ship code or fee.php remember the php extension select all files from save as type and save it now delete this file and only our newly written code file is here go back create an archive make sure it's the zip extension now we'll go back to our website and we go to plugins we create a new plugin we upload it install it activate it and when we go to plugins we can find it here cod shipping fee version by your name amazing and one more thing if you want to change shipping fee maybe tomorrow instead of creating or editing your previous plugin you can go to plugin file editor i understand the risk select the plugins from here cod shipping fee which is selected and you can directly make changes to it spin touch take care bye bye